guys! Today I wanted to share a flip book that I made for my friend Brittany. This is a surprise. Well, it's not a surprise now because she knows if you're watching this. But we did not schedule a swap or anything. I did a pocket letter swap with her around the end. Middle to the end of January. And I wanted to swap again, but I kind of wanted to make her something a little different. I have not seen her do anything with flip books yet, so I wanted to make her one. I had the Jan January, I'm pretty sure it was the January kit from the Planner Society that was kind of like burning a hole in my crafty pocket that I really wanted to make something out of. I didn't want to do a pocket letter because I keep doing pocket letters and it's getting, not boring, but you know, the same. So I decided to do a flip book and like I said, I've never seen her do anything with a flip book so I thought I would make her one. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I did. I do not have a process video for this, but I'm really excited for it. This thing is thick. So this is 5x5. Five five. The papers that come with it are like completely random. It's not 12x12 12 12 or 8.5x11. It's like 105 by something. I don't know. So... I had to come up with something that was like fitting and yeah. So this is 5x5. Five five. Again, it's with the paper from the Planner Society. So we have like a floral paper. I inked two doilies. One is a very baby pink and one is white. And I layered them down. I put some washi. There's a glitter washi and a washi from the kit. Which is a floral color. Pretty much the exact same as the background. And then I printed out her name in cardstock and cut it out. It says Brittany, obviously. I made these die cuts. It's a little girl with a heart in her hand. This is from Free Picks. This is from a clip art and um, digital paper set that I got off of Etsy. That's from Free Picks. Then this is from Free Picks. It says Hello Sunshine. I layered some washi behind it and then put some little enamel dots. They are very randomly spaced and that was on purpose. It's not like I messed up or anything and then the binding the same as Danny's flip book I did a gold glitter Danny's was silver and the stripe washi so then you open it up and it looks like this it is a three fold I tried to do it so that it flipped up this way so there was this and then flip up but whenever I would fold it down like the washi just had a fit so I had to tear it apart and then do it this way but we will go into this one first so for this one I made a little pink pocket you can't really see it because it's hidden by all this actually if I pull these out there you go I used the Feliz paper love paper tutorial again like I mentioned in Danny's pocket letter video and then she does this etching or whatever with her sharpie so I went ahead and did that and I kind of liked it so um but just putting it on this page looked really plain, so I ripped some of the paper from the Planner Society, inked it, and put it on. There's two layers. There's like a blue plaid, which you can't really see behind there, and then these little things that say hello. I put a gold doily from Target and say cheese, which I made. And then in there, I'm just putting stickers. So we have these ones from the Planner Society. Then we have this sample set from Soda Pop Studio. Usually when I order from a shop I save the samplers so I can include them. Then we have Minty Hearts. I did get this around December but I mean you can use green and red whenever you'd like. Then we have Sticky Print Designs. I don't know where I got this. I've never ordered from this place before so who knows. Pretty Sheepy which is mainly Disney stuff. I don't know if she likes Disney. And then Akina prints. So that is that pocket. Then you move over to here. I did some layering in the background with some washi. You can't really see it. Um, yeah, you just can't see it. So there's like a floral a yellow, a pink glittery washi. You can see that. And then a gold washi. I took one of these glossine envelopes. I got them at Paper Source. They look like that. They're just really see-through. And I folded it over. I put some die cuts in there and some like little rhinestones and stuff. I should have 
shown what was in it before I closed it up but I don't want to take it out but there's like a little castle the Eiffel Tower there's like a speech bubble that says okay there's just all kinds of little die cuts from the planner society as well as ones for me some rhinestones so that's in the glassine thing I above the washi I put a red doily inked it and then for this I just used some removable adhesive runner so she can take that off and take out all the goodies inside and then I put this love die cut that I made the the is from mommy sticker sheets the goods are thickers and then I just did, um, layered some really cute embellishments so we have a wooden star a little diamond a squishy heart an arrow and that arrow thing and this is from Heidi Swap. It says awesomeness. And then down here it says hashtag friends. So then you open it. And we have two more pages. But I will show you the middle first. So this one I knew that I wanted to do a shaker tag. Or a shaker somewhere in this. But I wasn't really sure how to do it. Uh, my original thought was maybe cut off like one little section of a pocket letter. And just make it a little flippy thing. But I decided to do like the whole thing as a shaker pocket. So I just built it with some cardstock at the bottom. Then right here along the sides are the foam tapes. And then I covered some acetate the sides of it with some washi to go along with it. And then obviously put some things. Whoops put some things in it to make it shaky so we have like a heart button little um, star iridescent star confettis a bunch of different confettis and so on then to put mail tag and I actually made this into a pocket so she can easily pull that out from behind and this is just a mail tag and it's the size I think it's actually a little bit bigger but she can cut it off that will fit in a pocket letter if she wants to send it to someone else in a pocket letter or put in a pocket letter back to me or whatever. And then this is from the Planner Society and this is from what I made. And then the last one is very simple. I just ripped some of the paper, inked it, put a doily down. As you can tell, I have many doilies in this. I love doilies. And then I included some sticky notes from the Planner Society. I wanted to keep it really simple so that this was like the main element. She can take these off and use it or she can take them off and keep one on there so it's still a design element. Then I put a little bow die cut with a little um, heart sticker. And then on the back I didn't want to keep it just plain so I put another gasoline, gasoline, um, gla glassine, glassine envelope. I cut off the little thing. And then I put some papers so that, because I, I know she doesn't do flip books, at least not that I'm aware of right this second. So if she doesn't want to do a flip book or she wants these papers to do a pocket letter, I included all the pocket, or all the paper from the January, I think it's January, it could be February, I don't know. And then a few others from some other ones so she can use those. And then I just put an XOXO on there kind of like signing it off so that is the pot or the flip book to Brittany I'm going to show you how I plan to wrap it all up I have this burlap type material that Br um, Tasha had sent she wrapped my pocket letter in it so I cut it in like a third I'm going to wrap this and it like fits perfectly but I'm going to staple it real quick so that it stays together so that is that excuse my dog and then I have this really pretty mint ribbon oh my gosh the mailman is here so like my dog's world is ending so I'm just going to wrap this around it. Okay, and then I made this little shaker tag. I made it out of the supplies from the Planner Society. It is lifting a little bit. The glue will not stick for whatever reason. 
but hopefully at least makes it in time for her to see it. So I just did a little shaker, like I said, put some little sequin bits in it, and then put a little tag, it's like a fold-over tab, that says it's going to be a good one. I didn't put her name on it because I figured what if she wants to reuse it, but with it falling apart, I don't know if she wants to, but hopefully it will at least arrive in one piece. So I'm going to string that in there. And then, like I always do, I'm going to cut these because I think it looks cuter that way. And there we have it. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope Brittany enjoys this flip book. I had a lot of fun making it and it has lots of unique goodies in it. If you guys like this video, please let me know. Do you want to see more flip books, less flip books, any specific theme? That is it guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.